Hey folks, welcome back. I'm Dave and we're here in my shop where I build E-War guitars. This is going to be the next uh, video in the series of my journey into CNC guitar building. This is the first guitar I've ever made with the CNC machine. And, uh, and this is going to be the next video in that series. So in the last one, we dressed out the frets, we got them leveled, crowned, uh, ends uh, rounded and polished, and we also put a little, bo a little boiled linseed oil on the fretboard. And now the next step in my process for building guitars is getting the nut ready to go. So this is a bone nut blank from uh, uh, Stu Mac. It's a 3 16 uh, thick. It's probably, I don't know, about two and a quarter inches wide, maybe, oh, it's probably a half inch tall, which uh, it's a nice thing to start with, but it's got to be very different than this uh, to, to become a nut. And uh, I I've, I've, I've make all my own nuts, I always have, but most of my videos I kind of gloss over because there's always so many other things going on. But it's such an incredibly important part of the guitar that I thought I would vote, devote an entire video to uh, uh, creating that nut. We'll cut it, shape it, um, polish it, fit it, and, uh, and glue it in place. So that's what this video is going to be about. Anyway, let me turn down the camera we'll get to work. Okay, so this is the, uh, this is the bone nut here. And though it's, it, it looks nice and square and straight and everything, they're usually not totally perfect. So the very first thing I like to do is to get them all squared up and all the surfaces uh, parallel with each other and get the bottom square with the face. So what I do is I got a piece of granite here, of course a piece of uh, MDF or anything that's really flat would work fine for this. I've got a 320 disc uh, grit disc here and a 400 grit disc there. Um, and I'm gonna use that first to, and my little square, I wanna square up all the faces of this thing. Uh, so when we put it in there, it fits really nice and tight and it's down tight against the neck and up tight against the fretboard too. So now my, my uh, slot I have left in that guitar is 3 16ths of an inch uh, wide and this is about 13 64, so it's only about a 64th of an inch big. So I don't wanna take down too much, I just wanna get it flat, straight, and some of the rougher, uh, rougher marks off of this and to make sure we don't go too, I don't want it to be too loose, so. I'm just gonna hold it up against this square as a straight edge. I'm gonna hit the face and I'm gonna keep checking it. That's actually not terrible. This is one of the better ones I've had. I'm also going to do this, both of these edges, making sure that they are perfectly square with the face. Just a couple swipes like that. That looks really nice. Okay, that looks really good. So, let me check the thickness again. Like I said, I can't take it down too much because, okay, I'm still at 1364, which is good because that's gonna be, I think by the time I sand it down on the 400 and then do a little bit of hand sanding on it, I'll probably be down to the right size, so. I also use my calipers to see that it's running, the two faces are running parallel with each other. And that looks like it's fitting in there really nice. Okay. That's actually, that is in there. I think I'm gonna save the rest of that for uh, a little higher grit of paper to get it just right. But that is very, very close to the right thickness right there. So let me also check the, let me make sure that these edges have remained square. Okay. 
Okay, very nice. I think I'm gonna go ahead and raise that up to, uh, I think I've got some 600 grit paper over there. I'm gonna take some 600 grit to both these faces now too. Very nice. We've got three sixteens. Both sides have been hit with uh, 600 and they're looking good. Let me drop it in there and see how it fits. Bit snug still. Okay, let's hit it with 800. Nice. That's a nice clean fit. Tight against the bottom, tight against the fretboard, and tight against the headstock plate too. So I like that very much. And we got it up to 800 grit too, which I'm happy about, um, because that's a part of the way to being finished. Okay, so the way I mark the radius onto the nut and get it at the right height for cutting is I've got a little one of these, uh, this is an old uh, carpenter's pencil, and I shaped the bottom, and I tapered the, the point up at just enough height to when this little pencil is riding right on the fretboard, the very tip of that pencil, where it would touch the nut, is just higher than this first fret right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place this pencil down on top of the fretboard, and I'm gonna use it and draw it right there so that gives me a mark that is just a tiny bit uh, higher than what it's going to need to be ultimately cut down to. And this is the height where I'm going to make my first cut. So I'll show you that right there. So that line right there is just a little bit higher than I'm going to want this nut when it's finished. So that's the place where we're going to start. Okay, and I'm also going to mark both edges of the fretboard onto the nut too, which is where we're going to cut it as well. Okay, so I don't like my fingers getting too close to that uh, oscillating belt sander, so I'm gonna make myself a little handle out of uh, this, this uh, tongue depressor right here. I got some really super sticky double-sided sticky tape, and we're gonna stick that nut to that thing. And that's gonna be our handle. Okay, now one other thing I wanna do before I start grinding away on this thing now the treble side of the nut is, it needs to be a little bit lower than the bass side because the strings are obviously quite a bit thinner. So you're gonna make up for that because you don't want these treble side strings buried way deep into the nut. You want the top of the string somewhere around the top of the nut. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a small mark right here. Right there and I'm gonna use my 12 inch radius uh, deal here. And I'm gonna redraw this, compensating for the string height. Okay, so you probably can't see it, but I have a lower line here that's gonna drop off the last part of this uh, nut on this side over here. And that's what I'm gonna shoot for right there. Okay, so there we go. We are very close. We're just above our line, which is good because I want to bring it in the rest of the way by hand. I don't know if I'll be able to angle that in the camera right, but I've got a nice bevel on the thing, which incidentally, I didn't mention it before. This is set on a 14 degree bevel, which is what my headstock uh, brake angle is too. Because I want my nut to follow at the same brake angle as the headstock, so the strings come all the way down across the top. And of course, only touching at the very top spot, but then falling down at the same brake angle. So, anyway, so that's looking pretty good so far. 
Okay, so let's do a little test fit on this guy. I think he's looking pretty good. He's right there on my lines. We've got a real nice bevel on it. Let's slip him in there and see what we're looking like. Okay, let me see if I can get them in the camera. I think that's looking pretty good. Of course, we're way too long. We might be still a tad high on the base side over here, but we'll find out here in a minute. So, but I think so far that's looking really good. Now we're going to go ahead and take our files and we're going to start uh, cutting down the sides a little bit at a time. We're going to put it in and take it out. And we're going to keep testing it because we want to get the side shape down to where you can't even feel them anymore on the sides of the neck. Okay, so I'm going to take my uh, very skinny little pencil here. This is a, a 0.5 millimeter tip. And I'm gonna mark as good as I can right up against the fretboard. I'm also gonna mark the back. There. there and the bottoms too. Okay. So there's my marks. I'm going to take that over to my uh, with my files and start filing it down and getting it close. And then I'll jump back on my sandpaper that's stuck down on that piece of granite and get it even closer. Okay, so that's getting closer. So I've got that back beveled off. I need to still straighten up with the uh, with a little sandpaper. I've got the edges all cut down. I'm going to stick it back on. I think we're going to switch now from the file to sandpaper. Let's put it back in place and see how it looks. Not too bad. Take a little bit of 600 grit sandpaper and it's all pretty uh, it's pretty rounded I'm gonna hit it a little bit more with this hand sandpaper to kind of smoothen out any 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 little uh, ridges or anything kind of hard to do because it's a little tiny thing to hold on to I want this thing to be as smooth as possible everywhere you touch it I want this back edge to be out of the way so those strings could fall off at a nice angle and only rest on this leading ridge here. Because I need to knock that down too because that's pretty, that's pretty sharp as well. This is only 600 grit sandpaper so it's not really taking a whole lot off. It's just sort of taking the sharpness off. Definitely getting better. Okay, I think that's looking good. I want to take it over to the buffer and hit it on the buffer just to put a shine back on the thing. It's very smooth and rounded. 
and it feels nice and soft to the touch. That bottom edges are still very square and sharp and the face is still very flat and square and sharp, but all the other edges are nice and rounded on it. So I think we're pretty good. I'm gonna go buff it off. Okay, so I don't know how well you'd be able to see that, but that thing is like super smooth, shiny, nice and rounded everywhere. I think it looks good. Fits in there real nice and it feels good. Okay, I think what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go ahead and set these two outside tuners and set the bridge. And before I glue it in, I'm going to go ahead and mark these two outside strings, get them laying on there, get the width uh, set right, lay out the rest, and I'm going to do my initial slotting on this before I go ahead and glue it in. So I'm going to uh, get out my uh, tuners and my bridge and get rolling with that right now. Okay, so as you can see, I went ahead and I installed my tuners and my bridge, and I'm gonna go ahead and pull the two outside strings on, because I wanna visually see how well they line up with the edge of the fretboard when I go ahead to mark my nut for slotting the nut on both sides there. So, I've got me a set of Stringjoy Broadways. They're 10 to 46. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and put the number 10 and the number 46 in place, and uh, get them marked out. Then I'm going to go ahead and use my uh, string scale ruler and we're going to mark out the rest of them. We're going to go ahead and slot them all. Just the, the initial slot, we won't set them for depth, but just the initial slot uh, before we glue the thing in. I just want to see how it's going to work before we do the final glue up of it. Okay, so what I've got is I've got both the high and the low E strings installed, and they're not all the way up to tension or anything, but there's enough tension on it that, that they're running nice and straight. And so what I want to do is I want to get these both laying on top of the nut, and I've got them in their saddles at the other end on the bridge, and I want to visually look down the neck, and I want to see that each string is running parallel with the edge of the fretboard all the way down. Uh, and I see I've got it good, so I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to mark either side of each of these strings here on the fret on the uh, nut. I've got that one. And I've got that one right there. Let me move my strings and make sure I got a good mark. Okay, and I do. Now I'm going to get my uh, nut files out. So I've got them in a drawer here somewhere, right here. Okay, I'm going to take the number 10, and as carefully as I possibly can, I'm going to go in between those two lines, just the smallest little notch right there. That's the 10. And this one's the 46. Okay. So I'm right in between those marks on both of them. Let me drop that guy in. Let me drop the high E in. 
think I like the distance from the edge to the end of the fretboard. And it's running parallel with my, my bridge end. So I think that looks pretty good. So let me just take a quick look here. Yep, and I've got room, I've got depth to a notch in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and just, now that I know I like that placement, I'm gonna go ahead and notch those in just a little bit more. Okay, just like that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I've got a Stumax a string spacing ruler, and, uh, and what I need to do is I need to find the, the two outside strings. Okay, find the closest possible match, and this will lay out the remainder of the strings for me. So I've got the long set of lines here, and I've got the other one right there in the center of the, uh, actually that needs to go over a bit. Let's try this one. Nope. Try the short to short here. Honestly, this set here, this short, I got a short mark here, and a short mark there, let me make sure. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six. That looks great. That's dead in the center of the high E, dead in the center of the low E. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna mark the remainder of the short marks. Okay, that looks really good to me. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take each of the successive files and go ahead and put the same little niche right on that mark and I'm gonna check it again. Okay, they look good, I'm happy with that. I can glue that nut in now, and when I go to set up the guitar, I'll go ahead and notch it the rest of the way. Okay, well about all that's left to do with this now is get a couple of drops of CA glue in there, right down in here, and I'm gonna use the medium CA glue, just a couple drops. You don't need too much at all. Just a tiny little bit like that. We drop her in place. And there we go. That is it. All right, folks. Well, that's, that is how I make my nuts and get them installed. As I was gluing it in, my battery died, as, uh, as oftentimes happens. So I had to stop, and uh, I got it glued in okay, but then I stopped and changed it out to battery so I could just say uh, thanks for coming by and watching the, watch my little video about uh, doing nuts. I know it's not the most exciting thing about building a guitar, but it is very critical uh, to get it right and everything. So... Anyway, I hope somebody got a little something out of it. Um, I'm enjoying building this guitar. I just love building guitars and love making these videos too. So anyway, uh, if you happen to like the video, how about you give me a like on it? And uh, if you'd like to see more content like this, how about you subscribe? Anyway, if you all come back next week, I believe I'm going to dig in and start making our P90 pickups. I'm going to wind those myself. And I think next week's video will be about that. Anyway, I hope you all have a wonderful week. God bless you, and we'll see you all in the next one.